If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today, I'm going to be going over the Blitz promo now, guys. As you do know, the Blitz promo does come out every year. If you guys, well, if you guys don't know, the Blitz promo comes out every year for Black Friday. It's essentially Black Friday in Madden. It's like some super sales, special packs, special special players, special sets. Everything's like very time oriented. It is probably the most anxiety filled time of the Madden year. Also the most fun time and also the most inclusive of everyone time. So like it's pretty much like every few hours new stuff's coming out. You got to be on 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 6 a.m., 9 a.m. Like literally all night long, all morning long. Usually goes on for like three to four days. Now, it's going to be coming soon, more than likely. They, oh, they've, they've always done one. I don't expect them to not do one this year. And it looks like it's going to be taking place on current gym Madden, sadly, but it is going to be. Uh, it's not that it matters. Everything transfers. It's just that I was kind of hoping we'd have next gen everything for right in time for Black Friday. But, guys, I'm going to go over kind of like the, the aspects of it and then go over what it looked like last year and then go over what I think we could see this year. But Blitz Promo typically has a few things, guys. Special packs you'll only see during then, like Fire Fantasy packs, um, money packs, currency packs, Usually it's money based. There's gonna be some super master that you can only make by doing some you know specific sets. There's gonna be probably solos for a few things, but most of it usually is money based. Now, and this is this is a factual statement right here. What is the Blitz promo? In short, it's the time EA really hopes you buy packs for real money. I mean EA always wants to spend money. This mobile Blitz is the way to try and entice you to win some of the best deals there will be all year. And that's the truth. There are gonna be some deals that even people like I don't like to spend money on this game. And you, you know, I know you guys, some of you guys who literally don't like to spend a dollar and like no matter how much you want a hundred dollar bundle, you won't do it. This is the time when they make the deal so good. You feel like you're dumb for not doing it. It's like a legend fantasy bundle. Instead of being a hundred bucks, will be 30 bucks. You're like, well, I've always wanted one in 30 bucks. Kind of seems right. Fire fantasy packs 25. And you're like, I always wanted one of those too. I've always seen those on YouTube. So typically yeah, it runs from the 28th to the third, but you will have to the 9th of December to get the masters. But again, with this year, everything being so weird, I don't know how they're going to handle it. So we'll see on that. More than likely, it could see at the same date. But I know some stores aren't even doing like an in-store Black Friday. It's going to be more like online starting this week. So we'll have to see. So it tends to crash the auction house. That's very true. Um, some people will buy them without the understanding of what they really cost. So yes, it's going to be a very weird time in terms of the market. So the last year was bolts. So the bol currency was bolts last year for the Blitz promo. As well as, guys, there's things called master tickets. Now, master tickets are what you're going to want to collect to get the master card, which last year was Lamar Jackson. So, this is Lamar right here, as you guys can see. So, Lamar Jackson was the master. You need 250, was it 250 or one? It was a wall, sorry, 125 uh, master tickets. And then there was also Chris Johnson, which was 150. Now, master tickets are really hard to get. It requires a certain level of money spent. Because, let's say, right, you want to go ahead and you want to get this Legend Fantasy Pack, right? It costs 1,500 volts. It gives you seven tickets also. So you can only collect tickets by opening things. So like, let's say you got the 91 Jalen Smith, 23 tickets. 88 Monta Sweat, eight tickets. Seven tickets. But like, it's not like you can only just use bolts. And it got to a point where you had to do a certain amount of stuff with money to get to it. So pretty much you can put a monetary, like, money sign value on how much these cards are going to cost. So getting the tickets were hard, but not as hard as they used to be. It used to be like 300 for like Aaron Donald or Night Train Lane. And you'd spend like at least 300 to 400 bucks just to get it. it used to be crazy. It's gotten a lot better than that. House rules that get you bolts and get you uh coins is pretty cool as well. Now it wasn't too great in terms of the rewards, but of course the rewards are good. It's just a matter of how much they actually gave you. It was a total of 950 bolts, which didn't really get you much. We had house rules with it, so kind of it's, it's typically a regular blitz for all you guys that have played before. Only thing that's going to be different is that they are going to incorporate more of the newer style Madden like house rules, um, you know currencies. But other than that, it's, it's pretty simplistic. It's nothing too crazy. Like so, there's some really good bundles like right here. It, this was um. This is one, actually, I didn't like this bundle. Like, there's some bundles that are bad. So this one was about 90 bucks, and you got you got a 90, 91 Fantasy Kickoff Pack. You got nine Elite Packs and All-Pro. Now, in, in theory, at the time, All-Star, what about All-Stars? The Kickoff players went for like 500, 300, 500K. For some reason, they were super rare last year. So you're like, oh, I'm going to open that pack. But the second you open it, everyone else does. Those players went down to like 100K. So don't always put it at face value like that. The bundle was a bad value. The only difference, well, decent value in terms of if you already open packs like that. But you did get the 8,900 bolts, which was important. Now, this was a decent bundle. 30 bucks after you access, probably like 26 bucks, 27 bucks. And you got a 24 times gridiron bundle with three elite toppers. This one was really good. A Series Redux Fantasy Pack for 10 bucks. So that one was one of the better ones of the year as well. And there was some, uh, there was some, you know, oh, you can see them right here, actually. There was 
So the start of the schedule was 12 a.m. offer. We had a theme diamond fantasy pack. It goes for 10 minutes. We had a superstar blitz offer at 12 a.m. Then we had a 12 p.m. All Star um, Pro bundle. And these all say the 12 a.m. ones. I think it was I think 12 a.m. and 12 p.m. were always the best ones. Then there was like four and eight, I believe. And those are the ones that were like decent. But you guys get the point. Some of them are limited in the world. I don't know if they're gonna do that this year. But enough of that, guys. Let's get over back to Mudhead so I can show you guys what we had stat wise. So, like this is what we got. We got Christian Johnson 94 overall. He had a 94 speed, 94 excel, 93 agility, 89 carrying, 72 catching, 93 elusiveness, 46 trucking, 88 break tackle. So Chris Johnson was super, super good. At the time, though, we had something else. I think we might have had the one, the NFL 100, um, like Barry Sanders and those running backs already. So I don't think, and Eric Dickerson's, I don't think he was like overpowered at the time, Chris Johnson. But I know right now, in terms of our current Madden, you would think like, wow, this card would be absolutely unreal. I think he was right in line with everything else. Now, Lamar Jackson was the true prize of this promo. Everyone wanted a piece of Lamar Jackson. Now, again, this year, we kind of got quarterback speed very early on. Like, 92 speed is like quarterback speed right now that we're used to. 88, this, uh, no joke, this Blitz Lamar Jackson looks oddly similar to our Super 7P Lamar Jackson. All, all, the throwing th all the throwing stats are somewhere in the middle of the 80s. The throw power is running 88, and the speed is running 92. So, I, I honestly, if we had a Lamar now, based on the card he already has, I think we'd see a very insane Lamar Jackson card. Uh, we got Brad the Chubb. Lane Johnson, Dalvin Cook, uh, Dante Jackson, 94 speed was really good. And a lot of these guys are LTD cards. Like Dante was an LTD card that dropped at like, I think I was, I was actually Black Friday shopping and he dropped and I missed it. Uh, Darren Waller was another LTD card, 89 speed and tight end. Um, Jalen Smith may have been an LTD card. I'm not remembering right now. No, he wasn't. He was not. Oh, Kyler Murray was a big time drop too. When he dropped, everyone got really excited about him. He wasn't like a crazy good card, but remember he was a rookie. Everyone's waiting for some, you know, some Kyler Murray. DK Metcalf was really good. Marcus Hunt, um, he wasn't an LTD, but he was new as well. Marquise Brown was an LTD at an 86 overall, which was new 95 speed. And then we also got, of course, John Ross at 94 speed. So, like, Blitz just dropped some banger players, like, super fast, super fast. Um, Dalvin Cook was really good. Dante Jackson, super fast. Darren Wallace, super fast. Robbie Anderson, super fast. Kyler Murray, super fast. Trey Wayne, super fast. Metcalf, fast. Burita, fast. Like, these are all just glitchy players. Montez Sweat, fast. Almost everyone here is fast. And Lane Johnson, one of the fastest out um, linemen. Riley Chubb's fast. Lamar Jackson, super fast. Chris. It seemed like the Blitz promo is just about speed, right? Like fast hitting, hard hitting players, hard hitting promo. It does cost money, of course, but I mean, that's how you, they get you to spend money, right? They drop players that, that are, are super fast. And in Madden, when we see players that are super fast, we have to get them because they're super fast. But guys, that pretty much wraps up the whole Blitz. Like, what can, I, what can we expect specifically different this year? The only thing I think will be different this year, potentially, like in terms of what could change is the date because of course without i don't think there'll be black friday shopping this much as much as we're used to due to covid concerns so i do believe that if we did get a black friday blitz it could even start like early this week it could start right when they announce um some other stuff it could be what part two of thanksgiving promo is like i don't know yet because of course like i said black friday shopping is pretty much starting early this week in terms of online shopping so i don't specifically know now in terms of masters guys who could be our master so we've gotten aaron Donald. we got an aaron Donald in the past We've gotten um, Chris Johnson, we've gotten Lamar Jackson, we've gotten Night Train Lane, we've gotten Deion Sanders. Who could be a banger? I could see Randy Moss or Calvin finally fit in there. Because we've got a running back, we've gotten cornerbacks, we've gotten ends, we've gotten a bunch of stuff, halfbacks. Randy Moss or Calvin would be super fun. We have not seen them yet. Now, Randy Moss might be in the 50s, so I'm hoping maybe Calvin could get this uh, MasterCard. Now, of course, that would be pretty expensive, but again, it's Calvin. I would love to see it. I could see Night Train Lane coming out back again there because Night Train Lane has not gotten a card yet this year. And you know Nitro Lane always gets a card, so I'm kind of hoping he gets something. And, I mean, there's plenty of other options there, but I just think Calvin and Nitro will fit the bill. Um, we could maybe Michael Irvin. Haven't seen him yet. We've seen him by now. You know, there's so many good guys. Steve Young. Not saying I want those guys. Like, Steve Young, maybe I don't want that, but there's just so many options. You know, like, the, it's it's endless what they can do for this Blitz. And then, you know, there's just plenty of people else that you can see in here. But pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are into the channel. Make sure to below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on below. Again, shout out to today's Poodle Squad member, Scotty Mugshot. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support. If you guys are new, like the video, comment down below, Poodle Squad, and turn on the notification bell if you want to be shouted out. If you guys need coins for anything Autumn Blast related or the upcoming Blitz promo at some point, head over to my reserve down below. They do have harvest discounts, so make sure you're taking advantage of that. That's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.